This is part two of the clay forming demonstration where we created a freeform clay sculpture on a wire armature, wire and plaster fabric. This demonstration is going to be finishing this sculpture by simply applying some plaster and fabric onto the form and smooth it out and layer it and just simply let it harden through drying over a few days, it might take a week or so, and then you have a solid sculpture. Um, I know that a lot of sculptures are fired, a lot of clay sculptures are fired, or um, a mold is created. But in this demonstration, um, we're just trying to just achieve a solid form, and don't worry about doing anything else process-wise, uh, because that will take many more demonstrations and uh, that will be coming soon. But it is a good way to just seal a clay form. Um, dry clay has uh, lasted, you know, thousands of years. Um, you know, even longer, we have uh, artifacts that are simply just um, dry clay that, that, that can last if we just take care of it. Um, so the plaster and fabric surface that we're going to put over it should harden and seal the clay and should be sound enough to uh, be a nice prototype that we can look at and say for a long, long time, of course, if you're careful with it. Uh, what I do have and what you will need is uh, simply a bowl of water and plaster and fabric strips. Again, you can uh, buy these at uh, most art supply stores. Um, I like the uh, kind that are uh, have a good amount of plaster on there that are somewhat rigid um, not too soft and of course you want to cut them at about an inch inch and a half uh, by I would say about seven to eight inches long um, that will give us enough uh, plaster to work with to cover it and just uh, keep cutting the amount that you need because you can keep building onto this form with the plaster and fabric to create um, to continue to create uh, uh, more forms because you're just uh, layering plaster on it. I do have a plaster demonstration on the channel that you can see. Um, you can uh, apply that process to this process and continue to sculpt the form and sand and smooth out the plaster. So it, again, like all sculptures, it just depends how much work you want to put into it and uh, how far your inspiration for it and how, how, um, just uh, how far your vision takes you on a particular piece. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the demonstration. So this is not going to be a super complicated process. Um, all you're going to do is dip the plaster and fabric in the water and just simply wrap. And you can develop all sorts of systems on how you wrap the clay um, and of course how smooth you apply it is all going to determine how it's going to look but what's nice about it it's completely reversible um, you can peel it off and even if it cures you can take it off depending on how thick it is but you can see how I'm just patting it and making sure all those cells are covered again if you like texture then you can keep those cells you know as textured as you want it is stronger if you smooth it out so pretty simple process um, I'll definitely fast forward quite a bit because I think uh, it's pretty easily explainable. When you get started, you'll figure it out. Again, you know, um, take your time. Make sure that you are cutting your strips properly to the size because, you know, uh, when I get to these thinner parts, I'll cut these down to an inch or, and just work pretty meticulously. Um, so develop some sort of a pattern. And it's okay if you overlap on top of each other, the, the plaster strips, it's not going to hurt. Actually, it'll just reinforce it. So 
Um, you can wrap it as many times as you want. Again, you can continue to sculpt the form by applying the wrapping. You can always apply a little water, um, but plaster is not like clay. Remember, plaster will need to cure at, when it wants to. So you can't and you shouldn't try to keep plaster wet like you would with clay. Um, you are to activate it by dipping it in water and you have that amount of time and you'll feel it when it starts to re, uh, cure and harden you'll feel that uh, so uh, uh, you do not want to keep it from hardening allow it to harden and just work with the way the plaster wants to work you must allow it to harden because if you don't you will be altering the chemistry of the water to plaster ratio and then you will not have plaster that hardens so and what's nice about it is that it's easily workable I mean I'm, I can really smooth out that surface you are going to get a little bit of the wrapping texture but you know um, you can always lay more plaster over that and smooth that out as much as you want of course Again, it is a good way of just solidifying a raw a, a, a raw form. Uh, so it, it is an easy way to uh, put a surface on the plaster. And again, allow us, us to uh, keep the sculpture without having to fire it. Because not a lot of us have kilns and the uh, studio space for it. So... Um, as sculptors, we've always had alternative ways to create our forms, which free sculpture, uh, it frees up the process of sculpture versus a lot of other processes, which is primarily material based. Sculpture is anything, any way you can figure out how to create that form is allowed. And you can see how we can combine medias. In this case, it's plaster and ceramic clay. Okay, that is hardening up. And I will continue and wrap until I feel I am done. So I've cut some smaller pieces of my plaster and fabric and you would do so as, as you need for whatever shape or part of the sculpture you're trying to apply uh, the, the plaster onto. So again, develop some sort of a system or pattern where you can begin to apply it more intricately in comparison to what I was doing on the first step, but it's really up to you. Um, possibly maybe you can, you can um, work with the patchwork of the way that that plaster fabric lays. Again, you can always mix raw plaster, just a little bit of raw plaster. Remember, I do have a demonstration on how to use plaster. So you can see here I'm applying it in smaller forms just so you know I can experience okay do I like that that's something I want to continue on with you know it's up to you but um again it's really just a process of you applying the plaster the, the, the plaster fabric and considering texture 
pattern and surface. And I kind of like the uh, various direction of the patchwork. I think that creates a nice texture. Trick is, is just to make it look consistent all the way around. And see how far I can keep it consistently textured. So I really want you to try that because again, that's a large part of sculpture is surface and treating the surface. Again, remember you can use all sorts of treatments for the surface. I mean, pretty much anything that you would use for sealing or staining wood, you can use for plaster. Again, plaster likes paint. So these could be painted, oiled with uh, various types of oil base products or simply use acrylic paint so it opens uh, so many possibilities to continue to work with that surface since it is plaster um, it's compatible with so many different things remember plaster is just calcium carbonate which is the, um, the same calcium that is contained in you and me. So uh, it's a very beautiful material that can accept so many, so many different mat other materials. Okay, so you can see I'm going to continue on with that. And uh, again, continuously try to treat the surface. And remember, we are going to be taking the sculpture off of the bolts here so do not cover your exposed area where it's attached to the board Now, remember that you are going to have to really work the fabric and plaster. So like everything that we do, it's going to take some time to make sure that that fabric is hardening properly and that the cells, the gaps in between the fabric and the plaster embedment that they are compressed and, and you really try to work that plaster in that so, so your surface is also a little bit smoother but also creates a stronger layer. And I 
might just let it soak on the sculpture for a little bit. And then after a while it softens enough that I can then pat it down and compress and move some of that plaster around. Again, do not cover any more your bolts that are holding your form down. We need to have that available to excavate the screw so we can detach it from the board. So I'm almost done here, so I got a little bit to go. And remember to apply as much as you want. You can't have too much, it will just make it stronger.
So here's my completed wrapped form. So what I'm going to do right now is just let it dry, let it cure, uh, not going to bag it, uh, at least 24 hours and um, or maybe longer. Uh, you you really want to be sure that it's completely cured and, and the longer the better, honestly. And then uh, just excavate the uh, bolts that are screwed into the board and then release it and there it is. Um, and then continuously add more layers of plaster. Now you can definitely do that as much as you want in order to get the surface that you want. Right now this is just the first layer um, I can continuously add. Uh, I do want to make sure that it's uh, stable and cured and then I can continue to add as much as I uh, want to get that surface as clean as possible. So what you're seeing here is just the first initial uh, layer and then of course you can work that surface uh, by adding more plaster and adding more fabric and then just uh, uh, modeling and sanding and and doing whatever you want to uh, achieve the surface and the uh, smoothness or texture that you want. Again, you can use anything to uh, paint it. You can use uh, most things to stain it. Uh, but uh, most importantly, uh, you've learned how to who, uh, solidify a, a free form clay modeled form and uh, to create a, a sculpture that will withstand some time. And it's using both tensile strength and compression strength, tensile strength from the wire and compression strength from the clay and plaster and fabric. So I hope you enjoyed this assignment. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, I do hope that you are at peace uh, while you are working and sculpting and I hope that your imagination uh, can work freely while making a sculpture uh, using these techniques. Again, remember um, it's up to you how much you want to uh, add into your form. Uh, it all depends on how much time you want to spend with it. I do hope you have a good time. And I thank you very much for your time and your attention. Thank you.